Hey guys, today we're going to look into Speedpack package tracking. I'll show you the best free tracking apps to use, how long Speedpack deliveries normally take, and how to contact them if your package ends up stuck. Let's dive in. First off, the best way to track your package is with a universal tracking app, such as 17Track and Parcels app. These are by far the best in my opinion, and I'll leave links in the description so you can use them. They provide real-time tracking updates every time Speedpack scans your item and are completely free to use. You could also go to the Orange Connects website, which is the parent company of SpeedTrack, but I find the interface annoying and confusing. It's mainly for the sellers that use the carrier. Anyway, SpeedPack is a cross-border logistics provider developed through a partnership between eBay and Orange Connects. It was created to enhance the purchase experience for international buyers on eBay and improve logistics delivery timelines. Long story short, it's a way of e-commerce items from China getting into Europe, the USA, and Australasia at a faster clip. What's good is that the Speedpack scanning system provides regular updates. As soon as the carrier picks up your package from the seller, you'll be notified. For international shipments, the system keeps you informed as your package navigates through customs inspections and other important steps during the shipment journey. So what about Speedpack delivery times? If you're in the USA, Speedpack offers standard delivery services with tracking benefits on an 8 to 12 working days delivery timeline. While packages are delivered by USPS, you can still track your Speedpack packages using the third-party platforms I mentioned earlier. If you're in the UK, Speedpack provides standard delivery services of also 8 to 12 days. Once your package arrives in the United Kingdom, Royal Mail takes over. These services have a weight limit of 0 to 2 kilos to around 46 European countries in the USA and 0 to 3 kg to any location in Australia and New Zealand. Now, if you are watching this because your Speedpack package doesn't seem to be moving and you believe it might be stuck, I have left all the relevant contact details in the description on how to contact them. I advise that you do this as the estimated delivery window reaches its end. Another point of contact if your package is delayed or taking its time is the e-commerce platform or seller that you purchased the item from. In many cases, this might be an eBay vendor. However, more platforms are using Speedpack for deliveries these days. Ultimately, the sender should be able to shed more light on the issue. And if a replacement or refund is required, the process can begin. Anyway, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.